Welcome to another Three Steps to Sketch. Today we're going to look at another basic tangent graph, y equals 2 tan of pi over 4x. So this one looks a little bit strange. Nothing to worry about though. If we follow our method, we'll get a really nice graph. Okay, so we have our steps, steps to reference and let's get started with step one, find the essentials. Okay, so we can see that a, the coefficient in front of tangent, is 2. And b, the coefficient in front of x, is pi over 4. So don't worry about that. If you actually wanted to estimate out pi over 4, that's like 3.14 divided by 4. And so you could find a decimal if you wanted, but there's no need. Um, that's just the constant out in front of the x. All right, so now let's find the period. Remember for our tangent graphs, that's pi divided by b. Okay, so pi divided by b, pi divided by pi over four, it's going to be easier to think about this as pi times the reciprocal, four over pi. And you can rewrite the pi over one just to make things look nice and simple. And you can see you can cross cancel here the like terms of pi. So you'd be left with ones in both of those cases. And the period now is actually not in terms of pi at all. It's just four. All right, so a horizontal cycle takes four units to complete. Now let's move on to our scale labels. So to set our horizontal scale, we just take the period and divide by four. So in this case, we're going to simply count by ones for our horizontal tick marks. Our vertical scale, we usually just look to A. We'll count by twos. Okay, if you wanted to count by one, that would also be completely fine. And our last essential, the asymptotes. So remember our equation is x equals pi over 2b plus pi over b k, where k is an integer. And I guess is our shorthand for that. So let's just substitute in b or pi over 4. So we'll have to do a little simplifying. If you want to go out and do some scratch work, you can. Um, so we have pi over 2 times pi over 4. So we'll just move to the top. 2 times pi over 4. Okay, so that's that first part. Let's work in the denominator first and see we can cancel our like terms. We're left with a 1 here and a 2 here. So we have pi divided by pi over 2. Okay, so that really simplifies to pi over 1 times the reciprocal. 2 over pi. Alright, so our first part of our asymptotes equation is just x equals 2. And knowing what we know about how this asymptotes equation works for basic, basic tangent graphs, it should not be surprising that the first asymptote with our method happens halfway through a period. So half of 4 is 2. So if you wanted to work it that way, you could also just think about it and think it through. All right, and then the second part is plus pi over b k. Well, we already found pi over b above. Pi over b is just the period. So we can go ahead and say plus 4 times k. Okay, our asymptote happens once a period or every four units. Okay, and that's where k is an integer. So let's go ahead and label our axes according to the scale labels we found. All right, so the horizontal first, let's count by ones, easy enough. One, two, three, four, you can go ahead to five if you want. And we'll label the negative side as well. Okay, and then we'll count by twos for the vertical axis. I'm actually going to count one and then label two right here, just so we can see that this graph is being vertically sketched if you would rather just label the first tick mark two, that works as well. I just like to see how this graph is being stretched a little bit more than the parent graph if it was just y equals one tangent. All right, so now we're on to step two, plot key points. So remember our pattern is point, point, asymptote, point. So we start at the origin with our first point. Our second point happens horizontally at the next tick mark over to the right from the origin. So one is the X coordinate and we know a is the Y coordinate. So two in this case. 
And again, that's the vertical stretch we're talking about. All right, so the next thing, we move over one horizontal tick mark and we have a vertical asymptote at x equals two and that lines up with the asymptotes equation that we found when k equals zero, we get this asymptote at x equals two. And then our final point happens at the third tick mark to the right of the origin, so at three comma and then negative a, so negative two. All right, so that's one cycle. Let's go ahead and put our next couple points on there so we'd have a repeat. I'll do that in a different color. So our pattern repeats starting at four zero and then at five two, and you could keep going to the right if you had more space. Um, let's go ahead and sketch. We're really on to step three now. So sketch and repeat. So our stretched out tangent might redraw that, make it a little bit prettier. Okay, it approaches that asymptote. And then we have here. All right. So let's finish graphing one more cycle over to the left of this blue cycle. And we will have a really nice sketch here. All right, so to do that, all you need to do is move over to the left of the origin, four tick marks, and repeat your pattern. So we have point, point, asymptote. This would come if you let k equal to negative one for the asymptotes equation, and then point. And we can sketch this in as well. All right, and if you wanted to, you could continue out both ways, but this is two nice cycles of tangent um, for this particular equation, y equals two tan of pi over four x.